Hey, what's up guys? Back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Moto 360. Now, Motorola has just brought a whole new style of smartwatch to the table. Now, Motorola has been able to make the Moto 360 look extremely appealing to the eye. And the Moto 360 supports a feature that is first in the smartwatch category, and that is a round face. Now, this new smartwatch is going to heavily implement Google Now, and is also going to be one of the first smartwatches to run Android Wear. Now, if you're unaware of what Android Wear is, I'm going to go ahead and drop a link down in the description to a video that I made quickly going over some of the features of Android Wear. Now, with all these awesome things in mind, there are still a couple things that can absolutely ruin this smartwatch, such as horrible pricing and horrible battery life. Now, Motorola says that they will support two different type of bands, a leather band as well as a metallic band, and will also work with any Android device running Android 4.3 Jelly Bean or higher. Now, the Moto 360 is said to be water resistant, not waterproof. Now, one of the designers of the Moto 360 has stated that a round design and a round front face is a no-brainer when it comes to a smartwatch. He went on to say that a circular shape has been an iconic symbol for telling time. He also went on to state that nearly 80% of all watches shipped around the world are circular. He also went on to state that when it comes to a smartwatch, fashion trumps functionality. He said that the round circular formation was designed for more than one purpose. He said one of the biggest purposes for the round design was that it would be appealing to both men and women. Now the Moto 360 does not support a camera and oddly enough does not have a charging port. Wix also went on to state that a circular watch provides more surface area without cutting into your skin. Now aside from having both a leather and a metallic band option, Wix hinted at the possibility of a Moto Maker style wristband being available to where you're going to be able to customize your own color of wristband. Now introduced in the Android Wear project comes two different shaped OS's in the SDK. One being circular which is what the Moto 360 has and the other being a square design which the LG G watch is supporting. Now the watch itself has one physical button along with a touch screen and a microphone. Now getting back to some of the things that Wix stated, he thought that it was pretty comical that some of the current smartwatches don't display the time when displaying certain pages on the smartwatch. He said with the Moto 360 you will have the time displayed on any page that you're looking at. He went on to say that after all this is a timepiece. Now Motorola did not go into specifics when it came to battery life, but they did go as far as to say that that was their highest priority when building the Moto 360. Now again, with no visible charging port on the 360 itself, we can expect some type of kinetic charging and or wireless charging. Now Motorola did not state a specific release date for the Moto 360 other than stating that it will be released sometime in the summer of 2014. We can expect to see more information released between now and Google I.O. in late June. Once again, guys, the link to the Android Wear project will be linked down in the description. In my opinion, the Moto 360 appears to be a very beautiful smartwatch. I'm very interested to see how Motorola implements Google Now into the smartwatch itself. In my opinion, Google Now is going to be the heart and soul of the Moto 360. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me on this one. Let me know down in the comment section your opinion about the Moto 360. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do so. Be sure to drop a thumbs up down below. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.